So this first part isn't necessary for the glitch, but it can make it so you'll have less work to do. So here in the settings, we're going to change our assist presets to maximum, and then we want to change our throttle to assisted. Again, you don't have to do this, but it does make less work for you. Once you've done that, we can hop into our car selection, and you need to select a car that is all-wheel drive. So you can actually filter by pressing the pause button once looking at your cars, and then you can select an all-wheel drive car. Additionally, you will need to have leveled it up to, I believe, at least level 10, so that you can do the next part, which is hop into the upgrade shop, go to drivetrain, and then change the transmission to either the sport or the race. I changed it to the race just to be safe, but I do believe the sport will work as well. Now we want to head into free play and set up a test drive on Le Mans, and we want to do the track layout of the old circuit. During the test drive, you'll come through the second scored section here, and then you'll be on your big straightaway. Once we get onto the straightaway, we're going to pause the game, and we're going to head to our car, and then tune car. And we're going to be able to change our gearing settings because we upgraded our transmission earlier. And we're going to change our final drive so that the ratio is maxed out. On this car, it's a 6.1. It might be a little bit different on whatever car you're using, but whatever it is, you want to max it out as much as you can. And then when we get back into the game, we're going to drive all the way down to the end of this straightaway. You should notice in the bottom right hand corner that your speedometer is maxed out at the max total revs that your car can do and it's basically just going to stay like that and that is the glitch. As we get to the end of the straightaway we're going to pause our game. We want to go back to our car, back to tuning our car, and we want to go back to that final drive option and now we're going to whack it all the way down to the lowest possible ratio. For this car it's a 2.2. Again it might be different for the car that you're using but we're going to whack it down to the lowest possible setting. And then as soon as we come out of the pause menu, we want to start rewinding and you want to rewind back as far as you can until you can't rewind anymore. And then you're just going to let the car drive. Again, if you're using the max assist, the game will pretty much take care of this for you. Otherwise, if you are playing, you will need to just hold the right trigger. And at this point, the glitch has started. The car is going to stay at full rev pretty much always, even when it stopped. And for some reason, the game thinks that you're moving or that you're doing something and will just start awarding you all kinds of credits. And you're going to gain about a million credits per minute of doing this. So whenever you're done doing this, you can just pause the game, quit the race, and on the main menu, you'll notice that you just gained a buttload of coins. But there are some instances in which the game will kind of figure itself out and get out of the glitch, and you'll notice that you are no longer fully revved. If you ever get to that point, all you need to do is press the rewind button until you're fully revved and stuck in the glitch again, and you can pretty much do this indefinitely. So right here I'm going to quit out of the race, and as we head back to the menu screen you're going to notice that I've gone from about 300,000 credits at the start of this video to a little over 1.1 million in about a minute or so. And again, you can do this indefinitely so you can get as many credits as you want from this method.